Good day. This is Advanced Engineering Mathematics for Civil Engineers or FADMAT by Marvin M. Bartido. So this will be our last lesson. This is the continuation uh, of our topic about inverse Laplace transform. So our topics will be inverse Laplace transform of Laplace transform of an integral and convolution. So let's start with inverse Laplace transform of Laplace transform of an integral. If the inverse Laplace transform of f of s is equal to f of t, then the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s times f of s is equal to the integral of f of u du from 0 to t. Wherein yung f of u dito is the inverse Laplace transform of f of s expressed in u. So we're going to integrate this uh, with respect to u. So kung naaalala mo doon sa may Laplace transform of integrals natin, di ba ang kailangan natin doon, uh, meron tayong 1 over s. Or ang kailangan natin doon, meron tayong uh, integral na uh, f of u du tas from 0 to t. Tapos, um, ang mangyayari doon, kapag ganito yung ano natin, form ng integral natin na kukuna ng Laplace transform, ang mangyayari lang kukunin mo lang yung Laplace transform nito, tapos multiply mo by 1 over s. So kapag inverse Laplace transform yung gagawin natin, babalik ta rin natin ito. No, so, kailangan yung given natin dito, merong 1 over s, tapos any Laplace transform ito. No, so, kapag ganyan yung nangyari, what we're going to do is, uh, isosolve natin yung inverse Laplace transform nitong f of s, no, tapos i-express natin uh, in terms of u, tapos sa halip na in terms of t, no, tapos i-integrate uh, natin yon with respect to u, tapos i-evaluate natin from 0 to t. So, example tayo. So let's start solving. No? So kung gagamitan natin ito ng inverse Laplace transform, ng Laplace transform of integrals, so yung mangyayari dito, yung given natin, no, dapat merong 1 over s. Laplace transform, yung pwede natin kuna ng inverse Laplace transform, tapos class 1 over s. No? So kailangan natin i-factor out yung 1 over s. No, so, it, kung ito yung given natin, this is 1 over s squared plus s, di ba yung mangyayari dito, itong denominator natin, pwede natin i-factor out yung s. Taba? So, solve natin. So, kapag fin-factor out natin yung s, that will be 1 over s, no, times 1 over yung matitira na lang ay s plus 1. No, so, kapag minultiply mo yan, s squared plus s pa din yan, tao ba? And, so, yung mangyayari, kapag ganito na yung ano natin, given natin, ito na 1 over s. So, ibig sabihin, pwede na natin ito i-apply. Tapos, ito palang kasama na to na 1 over s plus 1, ito yon yung f of s yan. Tao ba? Eh, dito class sa may table, meron ba tayong uh, ganitong Laplace transform? Di ba meron? Ito yon Dito siya magpo-fall. So, yan pala ay e raised to 80. No, at yung a natin dyan ay negative 1. So, yan ay e-raise to negative uh, t. Taba. So, yung mangyayari, i-apply natin siya dito. Taba. So, kukunin natin yung inverse Laplace transform nito, express in u. No, ilalagay natin siya dito. So, pakita natin. Ayan. So, by the way, class, baka lang maisip mo na isolve ito na yung gawin mo. Kunin mo lang yung inverse Laplace transform nito, which is 1. Tapos yung inverse Laplace transform nito, which is e-raised to negative t. Class, mali yun, class. Hindi yan yung gagawin. Hindi pwede yan. Class, wala tayong ganyang rule. Taba? So, kapag ganito, class, yung form ng uh, Laplace transform natin, ito yung gagamitin natin, class, para makuha natin yung inverse Laplace transform. So, again... Um, yung gagawin natin, uh, solve natin yung FU, wherein yung FU natin, that will be the inverse Laplace transform nito, which is ito. So, inverse Laplace transform of 1 over S plus 1, pero express in U, inter, uh, uh, instead of expressing it in terms of T, i-express natin in terms of U. So, this will be e raised to negative, uh, supposedly neg negative T yan, di ba? So, palitan natin yung yung T ng U. So, that will be e raised to negative U. Tapos, i uh, i-integrate natin to with respect to u. So, integrating this with respect to u, ano ba yung derivative or integral ng e raised to negative u? So, meron tayong negative dito na neutralizing factor. Negative, so that will be negative times e raised to negative u. Tapos, evaluate natin to from 0 to t. 
So, isasubstitute natin yung T sa U at saka yung 0 sa U. So, that will be negative. Factor out na lang natin yung negative. So, that will be E raised to negative T. Palitan natin yung U ng T. Minus E raised to ang ipalit naman natin ay 0. So, that will be E raised to 0. E di ba yung E raised to 0 ay 1? Taba? So, 1 times negative, that will be negative. Times negative, that will be positive. Tapos ito, E raised to negative uh, T times negative, ito yon. So, ito na yung magiging sagot. Ito pala yung inverse Laplace transform nito. So, ito, ibang-iba ito dito sa naiisip mong sagot. Hindi ito yon. Tama? So, ito yung sagot. Now, for our second example, this is 1 over s to the 4th plus s squared. So, class, pwede natin plus i-factor out dito yung 1 over s. Taba? So, rewrite natin. So, ang mangyari, ang pwede natin i-factor out dito ay 1 over s squared. Taba? So, yan ay magiging 1 over s squared times 1 over s squared plus 1. Kaya lang, ito ay s squared. Plus, ang kailangan natin ay 1 over s. Class, ah, pwede natin gawin, paghiwalayin pa ulit natin ito. Di ba pwede natin gawin 1 over s times 1 over s? Yun ay 1 over s squared pa rin. Taba? So, ito yon yung kakalabasan. Class, again, bawal to ha? Bawal tong solution na to. And so class, paghiwalayan natin yung 1 over s squared, gawin natin 1 over s times 1 over s. So big sabihin, pwede natin i-apply ito. Kaya lang, mag-uumpisa uh, dito sa buo na to, di ba? Kapag kinuha mo yung Laplace transform nitong buo na to, class, kapag in-apply mo ito, no, ito, ito yung magiging 1 over s, tapos itong f of s na to, ito yung magiging f of s. Kaya lang, itong f of s natin na to, kapag kinuha na natin ito ng Laplace Ah, uh, yung mangyayari kasi, 'di ba? Uh, kuya apply natin ito para dito sa unang 1 over s. Yung mangyayari, yan ay equal sa integral nung f of s or integral nung inverse Laplace transform nitong f of s, yun yung f u, 'di ba? So yan ay inverse Laplace transform ng yung natira, yung 1 over s times 1 over s squared plus 1. Tapos uh, times du. No, i-integrate natin with respect to u. No? Kaya lang, ito, yung inverse Laplace transform nito, ulitin natin class, class, uh, i-apply natin to. Kasi yan ay 1 over s. So, i -re -re write natin ito no, na ganito na. So, yung mangyayari, magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang integration na dyan. Taba? So, ito yung para dun sa unang integration. No? Tapos, para dun sa ikalawang integration, ito. Yung, ito yung sinod natin na to, na inverse Laplace transform. So that will be integral ng 0t, tapos yung inverse Laplace transform ng f of s natin para dito, which is ito, 1 over s squared. E di ba, from the table, ito ay sine uh, 1t. No? Kasi 1 yung w natin dito, kasi yung w squared natin ay 1, so yung w natin ay 1. No? So ito ay sine t, pero yung t express natin in u, so that will be sine u, du. Taba. So, yung mangyayari, um, uunahin natin na i-integrate itong nasa loob. So, integrating this, this will be, um, ano ba yung integral ng sin u? That will be negative cosine u. Tapos, i-evaluate natin from 0 to t. So, that will be from 0 to t. Substitute natin yung t sa u, tsaka yung 0 sa u. So, that will be negative. Factor out natin. Cosine t, substitute sa, yung t sa u. Minus cosine, substitute yung 0 sa u. So, that will be cosine 0. Class, ang cosine 0 ay 1. Tao ba? So, that will be 1 times negative. So, negative times negative, positive. Kaya, naging positive 1. Tapos, ito, naging ano to naging cosine t naging pa, negative cosine t ito pero class itong negative cosine t plus 1 i-express ulit natin yung t as u so papalitan natin yung t ng u so that will be negative cosine u plus 1 no tas yung mangyayari ito i-integrate ulit natin ito with respect to u no tas i-evaluate natin from 0 to t so integrating this that will be ano ba yung integral ng cosine u that will be sine u na since negative yan, so that will be negative sin u. Plus, ano ba, yung derival, ano ba yung integral ng 1 with respect to u? So that will be u. So ito yun. Tapos i-evaluate natin from 0 to t. So substitute lang natin yung t sa u, tsaka yung 0 sa u. So that will be negative sin t. So ito yun, inuna natin. Plus t minus negative sin ng u, which is 0 na to, plus 0. So evaluate natin. This will be negative sin t plus t. Minus, class, ang sign ng 0 ay 0. So, plus 0. So, magzi 0 lang to. Ito na lang matitira. Negative sign t plus t. So, yan na class yung sagot. Negative sign t plus t. Ito pala yung inverse Laplace transform nito.
So we are now down to our last topic, which is called convolution. If f of t and g of t are inverse transforms of f of s and g of s, then the inverse Laplace transforms h of t of the product h of s equal to f of s g of s is the convolution of the f of t and g of t and is defined by h of t is equal to integral ng f of x times g of t minus x dx from 0 to t. So, class, ganito ang scenario dito. Kapag ang given natin na Laplace transform ay product ng dalawang Laplace transform, yun ay f of s at saka g of s, no? and yung f of s, g of s na yun, pwede natin makuha individually yung uh, inverse Laplace transform nila, and yun nga yung f of t at saka g of t. So, class, kapag ganun yung nangyari, pwede natin applyan ng convolution. Na yung ginagawa natin sa convolution, no, yung f of t na to, i-express natin as f of x. So, lahat lang nung, nung t natin, no, nung variable t natin, gagawin natin variable x. Tapos class yung g of t natin, gagawin nating g of t minus x. No, so lahat ng variables t natin dito, gagawin nating t minus x. Tapos class i-apply natin dito nga, isusulat natin as f of x, g of t minus x. Tapos i-integrate natin sa class from 0 to t, no, with respect to uh, x. No, so ganun yung mangyayari dito, no. So mag assign lang tayo ng function na f of t at saka g of t. No, so, uh, gawin natin ito class. So, this is our first example for this. Actually, this is uh, yung example din natin sa Laplace transform ng, or inverse Laplace transform ng Laplace transform ng integrals. Taba? So, we can also solve this using um, convolution. So, ito yung uh, natin, ha, formula natin. No, so, yung inverse Laplace transform natin ay ito, yung h of t. No, so, gawin natin ito. So, the first thing that we, we're going to do here, kailangan natin i-factor itong um, 1 over s squared plus s natin in such a way na magiging dalawang Laplace transform siya. Okay, so, gawin natin. No, so, uh, gawin natin na uh, i-factor out natin yung 1 over s. So, yan ay magiging 1 over s times 1 over s plus 1. Ngayon, this is all... This is already a factor of two Laplace transform. Taba. So itong 1 over s, di ba meron yan inverse Laplace transform? Or yan ay Laplace transform ng t. Ay na, no, ng 1 pala. Taba. So yung inverse Laplace transform nito ay 1. Tapos yung 1 over s plus 1, di ba yung inverse Laplace transform nito ay e raised to negative t. Ngayon class, ang gagawin natin, mag a tayo sa g of t at saka f of t. So, yung i-assign natin sa g of t, kahit alin dito sa dalawa na to. So, in this case, ang in natin sa g of t will be the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s. Tapos, yung i-assign natin sa f of t will be the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s plus 1. No? So, ito yon So, yung mangyari, i-solve natin yung magiging inverse Laplace transform individually of these two lap uh, of this two Laplace transform. So, para dito, yung magiging g of t natin dito, yung inverse Laplace transform nito ay 1. Tapos dito naman, ang inverse Laplace transform nito ay e raised to negative t. Taba? So, ngayon, yung gagawin natin, yung g of t natin, gagawin natin siyang g of x. So, lahat ng variables t na nandito, na gagawin natin variable x. But in this case, this is a constant. No? Wala tayong variable t dito. So, yung g of x natin will still be positive 1. No? Ganun din, uh, yung f of x natin dito, no? yung t natin dito, gagawin natin x. No? So that will be, yung variable t na to, gagawin natin x, that will be e raised to negative x. Now, para pala dito, no? yung x natin, papalitan din pala natin siya as t minus x. So lahat ng may variable na pinalitan natin ng x, no? gagawin natin t minus x. But in this case, wala naman tayong variable x, this is a constant. So yung g of t minus x na to will just be positive 1 lang din. No, so, ngayon, itong mga nakuha natin na g of t minus x at saka f of x, sa substitute natin dito. No, so, after substituting that, ito na yun, no So, that will be yung f of x natin ay e raised to negative x. Tapos yung g of t minus x natin ay 1. Tapos, i-integrate natin to with respect to x. So, this will just be simply e raised to negative x. So, integrating that, that will be negative e raised to negative x. We're going to evaluate that from 0 to t. 
Now, ito na yun. Evaluate natin. I-factor out natin yung negative. Substitute natin yung t sa x, yung 0 sa x. That will be e raised to negative t minus e raised to 0. So, yung e raised to 0 ay 1. No, so, that will be 1 times negative, negative times negative, that will be positive. Tapos ito magiging negative e raised to negative t. So, ito na yung magiging sagot. And as you can uh, notice, no, so itong sagot na to, this is the same answer. No? Nung sinolve natin to, doon sa previous method natin, doon sa uh, previous slides natin. Ito din yung sagot, taba. Ayan. So, this is actually the solution 1. No, so, yung solution 2 natin, pwedeng ang gawin natin, Ito, no, pwede natin gawin is yung ia-assign natin sa g of t is yung isa, yung 1 over s plus 1. Tapos yung ia-assign natin sa f of t, yung 1 over s. No? So, same lang din yung lalabas na sagot kapag uh, ganun yung ginawa natin, no, pinagbaligtad natin. So, ibig sabihin, kahit ano yung ia-assign mo sa g of t at saka f of t, okay lang. No? So, yung mangyayari, yung lalabas na sagot ay the same lang din. No? So, this will be the answer din. No? So, next ano na tayo, example. Para sa next example natin, ito ay sinolve din natin using inverse Laplace transform of Laplace transform of integrals. So, pwede rin natin ito isolve using convolution. So, yung gagawin natin sa convolution, kailangan ma-factor natin itong given natin into two Laplace transform. No, so ano yung pwede natin gawin dito? 'Di ba? Pwede nating i-factor ito this way. So, this will be 1 over s squared times 1 over s squared plus 1. Ngayon, itong dalawa na to, no, itong dalawang factor na to, individually, ito ay Laplace transform, tao ba? Ito ay, ito yung Laplace transform ng, ng t, tao ba? Tapos ito naman yung inverse Laplace transform or yung Laplace transform naman ng uh, sine t, tao ba? Ayan. So, ngayon, um, i-assign natin class yung g of t at saka f of t. Yung i-assign natin sa g of t is yung inverse Laplace transform nito. Tapos sa f of t naman, yung inverse Laplace transform nito. So again, yung inverse Laplace transform ng 1 over s squared ay t. Yung inverse Laplace transform naman ng 1 over s squared plus 1 ay sine t. Ngayon, yung g of t natin, gagawin natin g of x. So lahat ng variables t, papalitan natin ng x. Tapos gagawin natin g of t minus x. So lahat ng variable x, gagawin natin t minus x. So this will be t minus x. Tapos para naman dito sa f of t, yung f of x natin, gagawin natin sine x. No, yung t natin, gagawin natin x. No? So, that will be sin x. Tapos, i-apply natin tong f of x dito, tsaka yung g of t minus x dito. So, yung f of x natin ay sin x. Ito yun. Yung g of t minus x naman natin ay t minus x. Ito yun. Tapos, um, ang gagawin natin dito, i-integrate natin to with respect to x. So, ito class ay combination ng uh, trigonome uh, trigonometric at saka algebraic. So, gagamitan natin ng integration by parts. So, mag assign tayo sa u at saka sa dv. Yung i-assign natin sa u, uh, kung ano yung nagka-comes first sa liyate. No, sa case natin na to, ang nagka-comes first is yung algebraic, which is t minus x. Tapos yung ilalagay natin sa dv is yung sine x dx. Ito ay i-derive natin, i-differentiate natin yung u, u, that will be du. I-differentiate natin yung t minus x. Since in this case, ang t ay constant, so ang i-derive natin ay yung negative x. Kasi yung derivative lang din ng t ay 0. So, this will just be negative dx. Tapos ito naman, i-integrate natin. Ang integration ng sine x dx ay negative cosine x. So, that will be the value of v. Tapos applying idp, that will be uv minus integral ng v du. So, yung u natin ito, tapos yung v natin ito, ito yon. Tapos minus integral ng v, ito yung v natin, tapos yung du natin ito. Tapos, from 0 to t, ha? ito i-evaluate natin from 0 to t. Ito i-integrate natin from 0 to t. So, integrating this, this will become negative times negative. That will be positive. Pero may negative pa rin dyan, So, may negative pa rin tayo. And yung integral ng cosine x dx ay sine x. So, that will be sine x. So, we're going to evaluate this from 0 to t. Ito din, from 0 to t. So, isubstitute lang natin yung t sa variables x natin. So, ang mangyari dito, factor out natin negative. Cosine t times t minus t, tao ba? Minus cosine ng 0, times t minus 0. No? So, yung mangyayari, yung t minus t ay 0, so magzi-zero lang to. Tapos, ito naman, cosine ng 0 ay 1, times t, so that will be positive t. Tapos, minus, minus, yung para naman dito sa sine x, so that will be sine t, palitan lang natin yung x ng t, 
minus sign ng 0 na may i-substitute natin. So, ito class ay negative sign t, tapos yung sign ng 0 ay 0. So, this will be minus sign t. So, yung magiging sagot natin is yung nakuha nating t dito, negative times negative positive yun, minus sign t. So, ito na yun. So, this is also the same answer, no? Uh, kung ang ginamit natin is yung uh, previous method natin. So, ito din yung lalabas na sagot. No? So, yun na yun. So that concludes this session. I hope you learned to see more videos about advanced engineering mathematics for civil engineers. Please hit the subscribe button. Thank you and God bless us all.